Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a magwell on the Colt 1911-22 pistol. This is the same 1911-22 pistol that I made the other videos on where you've seen the base pads, the extended base pads, and the regular base pads. This magazine right here is the regular base pad with a 16 round magazine modification to it. I'll put links to that in the video description below if you're interested. But basically in this video we're going to show you how to install a magwell. Now magwell is going to allow for easier, faster uh, feeding of the magazine into the gun. The problem that you run into is these magazines are slightly wider than your typical 1911 magazine. So an aftermarket magazine well is really not going to fit on this gun or at least allow you to use the magazines in it. So here is a typical 1911 magwell. And this is the type of magwell we're going to install on the Walther down here. So if I try to put this 22 magazine in here, the magazine base pad is just too wide. Now that's a modified magazine. Here's a stock magazine. So it's not going to fit either. So we have a kit that's going to replace or add a magwell to this gun. And the kit's going to contain the magwell itself, a new mainspring housing, and the housing cap retainer pin and the housing pin retainer and a screw. So these four parts are, these five parts here are what we're going to install on the gun. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure the gun's empty always. And then we're going to put the hammer down in the downward position to take the tension off the, the hammer strut. The hammer strut. <clears throat> so take a rubber band, wrap it around the grip safety, and this is going to keep everything intact so you don't have stuff flopping around later on. So wrap the grip safety down like so. Take a brass punch. If you don't have a kit, any brass punches, I'll put a link in the video description where you can get some. It kind of gets you started. You can pick a kit or parts or whatever you need just to kind of get you get your own parts in, in line down the road if you want to start doing more work like this. Anyways, we're going to knock that little pin out. And I'm going to do this with no special tools other than the hammer and the, uh, the brass punches. Here's our little retainer pin. Now at this point we can take our mainspring housing out. And this is the one that comes with the gun. It's flat, not checkered or anything like that. So if you want to replace this, you can do this. Um, put something else in here. The one we're going to put in tonight is going to be a uh, checkered one. And I, I like the checkered a whole lot more. But we're going to take the internal parts out of the mainspring housing here. So we're going to do that. This one's a little different than most 1911 parts. If you look right here, it's got a roll pin on the side. We're going to have to knock that out. And when we do, this little ball right here, this detent, is going to come flying out because it's under pressure right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this flat. Let me zoom in on my camera a little bit so you can see that. And I'm going to take a small punch, small diameter punch, and I'm going to set it right there. And I'm going to punch that roll pin out. I'm just going to knock it out until this thing comes loose. I don't want to lose the roll pin and knock it out of there completely because I want to hold on to it. This will be an easy way to, to keep it. Sorry about the camera angle, but like I said, I was going to do this with no particular uh, special tools, so you can do it yourself as well. So I've knocked it out. You can kind of see that. I'm still catching the edge of it. So let me take a little bit more out, and then at that point, it's going to come flying out. Get back on camera. All right, so I've knocked that roll pin loose or out of the way, and now our spring's gonna come out. We're gonna take that out, so we're gonna need that particular part there. And then inside is the mainspring housing pin retainer. We're not gonna use this part in this particular case, so we're gonna set this aside. So we're gonna take these things right here and just put those aside. What we're gonna do is now is we're gonna take our new mainspring housing and our new, the pin retainer at the bottom here, and we're gonna drop that in pointy side in if you will. And then we're going to take our spring just like it is and we're going to slide that in. And you'll notice it's not going to go in without pressure. I mean we have to to compress that. That's the difficult part with no special tools. Let me pop that out real quick and show you. Once we get that spring depressed in there, back out just a little bit, we're going to take this little retainer pin, the cap retainer pin, and we're going to slip it in on the flat side of the mainspring housing, just like so. It's going to go in, and you're going to see it's going to retain it itself. So we're going to have to get that nice and flush right there. Like I said, the kit's going to come with that. 
So we're going to push that back out. So we'll take our pin retainer, we'll drop it back in, take our spring, get that compressed. And like I said, this is the hard part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pin, I'm going to set it there, but I'm going to hold it with my finger off to the side, kind of bend it, Let's see if I can do that. Just like that. So it's not poked all the way through So because we want to depress that. So I'm going to put it on the table like so, and I'm going to press that down as far as, as far as it can go. And then I'm going to press that pin down. So there we go. So I've compressed it, and I've pushed the pin through. Make sure it's all the way in, all the way. Make sure it's nice and flat, because it's going to slide into the gun. So there is our mainspring housing. Let me back out the camera. Then we're going to slide this back into the gun. Now the hammer strut is right there. The hammer strut is going to match up with that little part right there. You'll notice it's going to wiggle. Now, get something so I can move it. The hammer strut's going to wiggle up and down. So when you slide the mainspring housing on, we're going to slide it in like so. We want to tip the gun. You hear it wiggling. We want to tip it back. Make sure that strut goes into. Let's see. I'm going to have to tip the gun. We want to make sure that strut goes into that little divot in the top of the, the mainspring housing. So there we go. Pushed it up. It should go right into place like so. And now we're going to take that retainer pin that we knocked out in the beginning. We're going to line it up. We're going to tap it in. So now we're there. Now we can take our rubber band off. Let me back out a little bit more on the camera. It's tough doing everything by yourself. So now we're ready to go. We've got tension on the hammer. Now we're ready to put our mag well on. So our mag well, they're going to come in black or silver. We're going to slide it right on top like so. It's going to have a little bit of wiggle left and right, but once we torque it down, it's going to be just fine. Oops, I forgot to get my wrench out. All right, so I got my wrench now. We're going to line that up. I'm going to use my fat wrench here. And once we get this torqued down, it should not move. So now we can take our magazine drop it in and now it fits so here we have the magwell and it it really helps with feeding magazines for speed reloads and like I said it comes in different colors I'll put links to where you can get all this in the video description below it also works with the factory base pads as well this is a factory base pad right here it's going to sit really recessed up inside the magwell, but that's what it looks like with a factory base pad. And like I mentioned, these are the high capacity ones right here. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.